It's Bianca Bruce. How are you? Welcome to episode two. Listen, if you do something once and then you do it again, you're that much closer to forming a habit. Yay to new habits. YouTube channels. Okay, so I was told that it's really important to introduce yourself on this platform. And incidentally, I believe that that's true in coaching too. And as a business coach and strategist, I know that the most important thing we have to offer to one another is authenticity. And part of being authentic is really sharing about who you are. So here you go. So question number one, am I named after anybody? Uh, yes, my name Bianca is a song my mother heard. I don't know what the song is, but she really liked schnulzy little ballads. Uh, if you get a chance and you're already on this platform, don't click away, but when you're done watching this video, go ahead and Google or YouTube Roy Black, a German Schlager singer. It's going to enlighten you. It's going to be so much fun. I bet you dollars to donuts that he sang a song about Bianca. Hence, I got the name. Okay, question number two. Where am I from? This is my favorite thing to talk about. Somebody stop me while we're ahead. Okay, I am born and raised in Romania, but the fun answer is I was born and raised in Transylvania, in actual Transylvania, in a little town named Medias, which roughly translates to center of middle of. So that's where I was born. I lived there until after the communist wall came down and then we immigrated to Germany and I went to school in Germany and did all my formal education in Germany and then moved to America. And I think I mentioned last time that I moved to America when I was 19. This time I was grown up and I was ready to conquer the world. And what better place to go when you are ready to conquer the world than to come to the United States of America. And that's what I did. So I'm from Romania, Germany, but really, Transylvania. Question number three, do I have kids? So I said my favorite topic was to talk about where I was born. I lied. My favorite topic is to talk about my kids. I have two. I have a 17 year old who's almost 18. I know it's amazing. She is the light of my life. She is all of my reasons. Um, and then I have a 12 year old who is also the light of my life. And she is all of my reasons. They are incredible human beings. Uh, they challenge me every day. They make life worth living. That sounds sad, but it's true. They keep me on my toes. They make me a better person. And one of my highest values is learning. And no one has taught me as much about life as uh, my daughters. Question number four, what is my favorite smell? Okay, so my favorite smell is probably first thing in the morning, coffee. I love the smell of coffee. And then anything that reminds me of home. So a home cooked meal that smells delicious. I love the smell of scented candles. Um, I love the smell of rain. I love the smell of Chanel number five. Number five. This is fun. Do I have any pets? I do. I have tons of pets. Um, we've had tons of pets. We've had everything from fish to rabbits to cats to chickens and dogs and all the things. Currently, my favorite little pet is Mr. Bo Blue. Bubzalooby, Bubbaloos, whatever I want to call him. He's a golden doodle who is a year old and he is just taken over my heart. I love him so much. We also have another dog named Molly. She's adorable and a little bit neurotic and five chickens. Question number six, do I have siblings? Yes, I have a sister who lives in Germany and has two sons and is an incredible, wonderful woman. I really love her and I wish we could see each other more often. Well, we are the polar opposites of each other and it's good. It's good to have people in your family that are so not like you. Uh, it stretches your love muscle. Okay, question number seven, who do I look up to? So this is a tricky one because it shifts and changes, but currently, and over the last few months, I have really um, 
looked up to and gleaned from uh, Jasmine Starr, who is a social influencer. I have looked up to Rachel Hollis, um, Jen Hatmaker, she kills me and slays me, Brene Brown, um, but also really the people I look up to the most are people who are in my 3D life. It's people like my associate who's behind this camera. Uh, it's people like my best friends, my inner circle, women who are also doing their work. Um, that's who I really look up to because they're real to me. And listen, we're all real. Even if we're standing behind the camera, everybody is a real person. Uh, it just helps to see them and to cry with them and to laugh with them and to share a glass of wine or a glass of bottle a bottle of wine um, that's what i look up to people in my real life Ooh. what did i want to be when i grew up question number eight so this is going to be so much fun because this is what we're going to talk about in coaching and on this channel we're going to really talk about the what i wanted to be a pastor i really wanted to grow up to pastor a church um, and then i wanted to be an attorney and then uh, I found out that I didn't really want it to be an attorney. My family wanted that for me. That's what, what they wanted. And so I really wanted to be a communicator. I wanted to be an ambassador uh, and travel the world and represent different nations and different countries and their interests. So that's what I wanted to do. Number nine, how do I take my coffee? This is going to be so easy. Black and very, very hot. Number 10, what is my favorite country that I ever visited? So uh, this is an easy answer. And uh, you might not believe me, that's okay. I had visited tons of countries, uh, I think over 34, um, before I uh, came and settled in the United States. And I really loved the United States. I love it here. I loved every the diversity. I loved the, the different states, the different subcultures that you get to experience, different kinds of food, the landscape, all the things. I loved it. But if I had to pick a country outside of the United States, since now I get to live here, I would really go for the East Bloc, I would say, or the former East Bloc. See, I was born and raised in the East Bloc, so I get to say the East Bloc. Um, but uh, yeah, Hungary, Romania, um, Poland, the Czech Republic, or the former Czech Republic, go there. Go there. Oh. Number 11, what is my happy hour drink of choice? So I am known for one thing. Uh, tons of things, but one thing in terms of like um, what I do for fun, happy hour. That's my jam. And so I love a good glass of red wine. I just love it. It's perfect. It just, it's perfect. It tells a good story. You can talk. You can linger. You don't have to drink it very fast. A glass of wine can last you an hour and a half. Ladies and gentlemen, red wine. Happy hour. Number 13. Three superficial things that I cannot live without. Okay. Mascara. Gotta have mascara. Gotta lengthen those eyelashes. Gotta make them big and beautiful. Lipstick. Because red lips. Hey, listen. I grew up with a grandmother who wore red lips. I think 24 7 and I loved it and so that's what I do red lips all the time and a tiny bit it doesn't have to be a lot but just a teeny tiny bit a little bit of a spritz of Chanel that's it three things number 14 ooh this is gonna be good heels or flats so it just depends but always always have a pair of heels on hand I mean if you're wearing flats See, I'm doing it the other way around. If you have to wear flats, or your feet are tired, and you need all the things, flats are amazing. Always have a good pair of heels on hand just so you can slip them on, elongate your leg, walk with strength. I love women who can walk with strength. Now, if you don't love a heel, that's great too. But still, when you put on that flat, walk with power and strength. Show them what you got. Oh, number 15. Last and final, best question yet. When was a moment where I really felt engaged with that word we learned, work flourish, yeah? Sort of like your purpose? That's easy. So I love working with groups of women. It scares me. 
but I love it because when you are surrounded by like-minded people who are working hard uh, to really dig into what it is they want to do and why they want to do it and how they're going to go about relaying that message to their customers and to their clients, it's really energizing. To be part of that feels like impact to me. And I think that's one of my values. So that feeling alive, of, of being alive, that aliveness, is that a word? That feeling of aliveness comes when I work with women um, in teams or in groups, in seminars, when we all just get to dig in together in our work. All right, everybody, that's it. So, you know, it's no fun to talk about yourself and not hear from the other side. So I want to hear from you. Give me something. Let me know who you are. Answer one of these 15 questions. Where are you from? What do you love? What are the three things you cannot live without? How do you take your coffee? I want to hear from you. Let me know who you are. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe. Click that button below and you'll get a notification next time we're on. I look forward to seeing you. This is fun. Let's do episode three. I'll talk to you later. Bye.